Hello everybody, this is KF0FDV, Steve the Salty Ham, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. Um, I wanted to go over uh, Baofeng repeater uh, settings, because I've had a, a lot of comments and questions uh, about, you know, what's the, what are the settings, uh, mine always keeps messing up, what am I doing wrong? So. I figured I'd go ahead and make this video for you and uh, show you what the settings are that I use uh, on my repeater. So since I'm not using a duplexer, I run two separate antennas. I've got my receive antenna on the receive radio and this one is going to the uh, two meter Slim Jim outside in a tree. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably about 45 feet above my head right now, so we've got plenty of antenna separation um, for descents, you know, because uh, I've also had a comment just recently about descents. And uh, yeah, so um, let's go over these settings here real quick. Let me show you this right here. So the way you're going to want to do your settings on your receive radio, which will be this one here. This one here, I've already gotten these settings put into these radios. So after this, I'll run you through a quick test on it and uh, show you how it works. But you're, you go into your settings and you're going to go to your menu number zero and change your squelch. I run it at 2 just because, but uh, most people will probably run on a UV5R their squelch at 1 just because it doesn't really matter too much with a UV5R squelch. Uh, the next one I do, uh, you'll have to change, is uh, menu number 7. You have to make sure TDR is the dual receive. Make sure that is off so you, you don't have any uh, interference from the second line uh, receiving anything and going out over your repeater all right next you'll go to menu item number 11 and uh, you'll put in the I put in on this one you don't have to have a receive tone um, I put a tone on this one just for uh, educational purposes so you guys know where the tone would go um, I put a, a tone of 100 on uh, that one and that's on the receive radio so this is the main that the receive radio needs to have changed and you turn your roger beep off there's no uh, shift direction of like a uh, like you were programming in a repeater because it is the repeater but it is one of the radios of the repeater of a two radio system so you don't need to change anything really else on that um, transmit radio this one here you will need to change a few more uh, you'll need menu item number two we can start there in order or zero uh, and change the squelch the squelch I changed that one to three just in case you know it might actually work correctly so what that does is with the uh, the little Baofeng repeater box here that goes in the middle it lets the receive radio talk to the transmit radio um, via Vox uh, this will retransmit what it's hearing from this radio so change your squelch to three that's where I have mine you can change it um, to whatever you feel like uh, this is just my personal preference I put it on three um, menu item number four would be next or two sorry transmit power for your transmit radio I have it on high um, getting as close to 5 watts as possible we all know that they don't always push that much so put it on high and get as much as you can out um, then number four you Vox I put Vox all the way to 10 um, because that will hear the receive radio what it's hearing and since it's going to be voice activated transmission on that radio um, that one will be transmitting what it's hearing from this radio through this box. 
Next, you'll want to change is, uh, again, menu item number seven. Also on the transmit radio, uh, TDR needs to be off. And um, as a repeater, um, I ID it every 10 minutes myself. Um, later on down the road, I'm probably going to put in a, uh, a Surecom somewhere uh, after transmit so that it can ID or before transmit so that it can ID for itself. But uh, for right now, I ID it myself and um, I put the Roger beep turned on so after each transmission, you'll hear a Roger beep from the repeater so you'll know that that transmission is done and the repeater is ready to use again. So that one will not have any uh, tone set on the radio. Um, there will be no uh, shift direction uh, because that's also the second radio of the repeater system itself. So it's already received. This one's receiving on 147.420. This one is uh, transmitting on 146.420. So the way that you'll input that into your handheld radio is 146.420 because that's the one you're going to be hearing on the transmit from this radio. So you're going to receive at that frequency. So this is the one that's going to be on your main screen. You'll go into your menu settings and go to menu item number 13 for your transmit CTCSS tone and change that to 100. And then you'll go to menu item number 20, uh, 25 and put it at a positive shift direction. And then 26, you'll change it to 1.0 as your shift number there uh, for your megahertz. And you'll do the same with the other radio that will be accessing the repeater itself. So I would say if you want to go ahead and just pause it, that way you'll know you'll be able to uh, copy that down, screenshot it, whatever you want to do. That's what I use uh, for settings on my repeater system itself. Let's go ahead and turn it on and show you guys how it works. Alright, let's turn this one on. And we'll turn this all the way up. We'll turn this one on and turn this all the way up because that's going to be transmitting it nice loud and this is going to be receiving and you'll be it'll be able to hear it better with this turned all the way up all right so my radio here 146.420 if i go into the menu i can show you there i go to menu item 13 it transmits at 100 I go to menu item 25, shift direction is at positive, and I scroll up 1 to 26, and there's the offset number. Everything else is good to go, I've already got it quiet like I want. And then I also have the same settings in this radio here, uh, for uh, to, to, while it's doing that here. Let's go ahead and put that there. So. Let's put this over here. Watch all the radios. You'll see it coming and hear it from here is where you're going to hear it from. And probably me talking here in the background. But you're mainly going to hear it from here. KF0 FDV testing Baofeng repeater settings. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And there you are and that's how you run those repeater settings now this one will also do it let me turn this one's already turned down let me turn this one down and turn this one up some you can hear it from there kf0 fdv testing baofeng repeater settings on all the radios here uh one two three four five four three two one So there you have it. And now I've had this and tested it out uh, in last year at Hamvention in Dayton or uh, Iberia. And uh, 
Was it Iberia? Yeah. But anyway, uh, tested it out. I had it hooked up in my truck with, uh, I have a CB in there. So I use that as my receive antenna, a CB antenna that's on the back corner of the bed of my truck. And then I have my uh, regular mobile two meter uh, tri-band. It's a two meter, 70 centimeter and uh, uh, one and a quarter uh, that I use for my transmit. And it was all hooked up to solar everything worked flawlessly the whole weekend I really had a great time and uh, I'm really happy with how well this works out right now um, I have I can have this set up it's set up right now I can use it as uh, a base repeater here at home and uh, I've got my antenna 45 feet in the air right now so all I would want to do at that point is I could put this antenna on top of the, uh, the RV and my receive antenna would be up a little bit higher It'd probably give me about uh, I'm gonna say would give me about 30 to 35 feet uh, antenna clearance uh, on, on, on separation there so there's be no descents I'd um, I could have the amplifier hooked up if I wanted to, uh, that, but that's how I have that in the, uh, the repeater box with the amplifier. But I just wanted to do this here for you guys to be able to see what you need to have your settings to be at for uh, this Baofeng repeater to work correctly. Um, thanks for checking it out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments, please. Uh, I've been through a lot of testing and, and, and this just seems to be working for me. You may get different results. These are results that uh, I have found successful and hopefully you can give these a try a, at home. Um, great for on your property or, or whatever, you know, uh, nice personal repeater system. Um, right now I'm just using two simplex frequencies. Um, this, uh, box actually works on not just UV5Rs, uh, and ham radio. You can also put it, uh, I can do cross band between two meter and 70 centimeter. I can use this box with two GMRS radios, which I have also, and set up a GMRS repeater with a, uh, a GMRS antenna set up instead. The same kind of radios I've got the uh, uh, GMRS versions of these so it's pretty versatile you can do all of the things which I really like uh, all of the things that matter to me anyway uh, everybody wants crystal clear purities and, and everything like that I'm trying to give you guys a cost effective uh, option to have you know decent communication around your property or or in your neighborhood for like a neighborhood watch or something like that um, it'll be easy uh, cheap to set up and it's not something you know that you're gonna be running 24-7 um, constantly talking on it it's not gonna have the duty cycle for that kind of business uh, that's why it's good for what I need it for um, and possibly what for what you need it for also so again thanks for watching uh, like and subscribe leave a comment down below uh, look out for some future content coming up and I will see you guys uh, down the log 7-3